Hello friends. In this session, I will be talking about how to create a DLL using C Sharp and once it is created, how to consume it in a client application. To begin with, we need to start creating a DLL project. The type of template which we use to create a DLL is known as class library. Class library is a template which by default produces the output in a DLL format. As you all know, DLL stands for Dynamic Link Library. Many times, people also call it Dynamically Linkable Library. Both the full forms of this abbreviation DLL are legitimate and well accepted in the industry. Let's begin with giving it a name and I want to just call it class library and I am saving it at default path in a computer system which is your documents folder then Visual Studio with version and then projects. Now I click OK. Now this is how your class library looks like. It's an empty solution which does not have a main function in it. Hence, it is not an executable. Always remember, main function is the key for executing any executable. If there is no main function, no executable can execute. And as you can see here, this is a class library. Hence, it does not have a main function means it cannot execute. Many times I have seen when you are working in bigger projects where you have so many projects added to your solution and by mistake you hit control F5 or you say run and you see a class library type of project cannot be executed. Now that error comes because by default your startup project in that solution is of class library type. So what you need to do is you need to set the project which can execute, means an executable type of project. That could be your MVC application, that could be your ASP.NET website, that could be a console application, WinForm, WPF, any such thing. But it cannot be a class library for sure. Now to begin with, here you need to go into the class. By default, your class is known as class 1. Here I am leaving it with default name. The recommended way is that you have to change your class with some reasonable name which your business requires. Now here inside this, you can start working on functions, methods, variables, properties, whatever you need to create. Let's not deep dive into all these type of member we can create in a class. Let's begin with something very simple. How about we create a function real quick. And I say public. And I want to call it integer type. I want to call it sum, which will take two integers, n1 and n2. And it will then return some value. So here I say return n1 plus n2. This is my DLL which has one sum function in it. And this sum function is ready to accept two integers and then do the sum of those two numbers and then return it. Now if I save it and I build it, if everything goes well, you should be able to see that my solution build succeeded, zero failed and zero skipped. Means everything is well, I got the DLL created. The name of the DLL is going to be class library dot DLL, which will have class one inside that. How do I know whether my DLL is created or not? Where does it go and sit in my computer system? To do that, let's hover your mouse on this tab here, right click, say open containing folder, click on that, go to bin, 
go inside debug and you should be able to see class library dot dll so this is what i just created on september 6th 3:45 pm pacific time united states of america now from here this is my dll which i need to consume or add to the project where i want to consume this maths functionality now you know where your dll is it's time to go back here and i want to consume that dll so i say open a new project again this time to consume the dll i am going to create new project and i want to choose the type as console application i want to keep it the default name as console application 13 in my case and i click on okay since i am going to consume a dll you have to make sure you add reference to that to add a reference you have to go to references tab in solution explorer right click add reference you can browse to the possible dlls you might have so here i will browse and i will go to my location where i have so let's go to the place where i saved it and that is in c colon slash users video grad and then my documents and then visual studio 2012 and at that time if you remember i called that in the projects that was class library class library bin debug and this is my dll so in my case it happened to be very lengthy path but as a developer or as a test automation engineer or an architect whoever codes you need to be very much familiar with the path of your computer system where you are storing the projects or else you can search real quick now i click on add now as you can see here i have a check mark in front of the class library dot dll which i just created and i click on okay now as you can see this class library is added in your references and you are now all good to go before we start coding let's add that name space class library here so here as you can see intellisense is showing it you pick that now you go inside your main function here and here i say class library obj equal to new class library dot class one so this is where my functionality is here if i say obj dot so as you can see here i can access my sum function to which i can pass two numbers so i choose to pass two numbers directly here and to see the output of it i have a choice to wrap this call into console dot right line and then So you can see the output on the screen. I also add console dot write line read line, and I save it. I build it, and if everything is good, your project is successful. And if you hit start right now, you should see result twenty five coming from a DLL which your console application is referring to. So I click on start. and here is 25 on this top left corner as you can see and this 25 is not coded inside your console application instead it is coming from the dll your project is referring to to investigate little further that this is an exe type let's go to the containing folder of this program.cs which is actually a console type go to bin go to debug and as you can see here this is your exe 
And it is also having a local copy of class library.dll. That means when you add a reference, your DLL comes down to the client applications bin debug folder. And the reason is because when you create a package or a setup application, the DLL is a dependency of your executable. And your application needs to know where are my DLLs. Hence, a DLL is copied over here. To avoid this extra DLL copying and deployment thing, we have started building SOVA applications. SOVA stands for Service Oriented Architecture, which in itself is a topic, and I would like to talk about that in a separate session. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to create a DLL. As you can see here, once again, this is a simply a class, no main function, nothing, just plain simple coding. And then you build it, you save it, you deploy it. When there is a client application, client application simply references to the class library, creates an object, invokes the functionality, and then you pass the parameters and you invoke, that, invoke it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching.